Hello and welcome to the first session of MicroStation Online Tutorials. The MicroStation software was developed by the Bentley company and the latest version which we'll be using over here as of now is the version 8 MicroStation version 8 that is what is represented as V8 over here. Now for those of you who are well acquainted with the AutoCAD software there are uh, some major as well as a few minor differences between the AutoCAD software and the MicroStation software. Both the softwares are used for 2D drafting, isometric drawings as well as 3D modeling. But there are a few major as well as a few minor differences. To begin with we will be seeing the first major difference between the AutoCAD software and the MicroStation software is the interface. That is, the AutoCAD software is completely command based. Over there in the AutoCAD software we will be entering commands for using the tools. Whereas in MicroStation it is completely icon based. You have icons for each and every operation. You will be using your mouse throughout for using those tools. Next, the second major difference between MicroStation and AutoCAD is in MicroStation you can only run one file at a time. That is simultaneously you cannot run more than one files. You will have to open, edit, modify whatever you want to do with the file you will have to do with one file at a time only. If you want to modify the second file, you'll have to first close the first file, then open the second file. Whereas in AutoCAD, we can use multiple files at a time. Also, whenever we start the MicroStation software, we'll first have to create manually a new file. That is, we need to give a new name, select the settings, etc. for the new file which we have created. Whereas in AutoCAD, the first file or the new file is automatically created when you open the AutoCAD software. Also, there are some minor differences such as when you enter uh, the 3D for MicroStation, the, in the 3D modeling of MicroStation models, you can view the different angles or the different views of the same model can be seen at a time up to 8 views of the model can be seen at a time whereas in AutoCAD software over here you will be rotating the object in order to see it from different directions. The extensions for MicroStation files is .dgn that is the extension for MicroStation files .dgn whereas for AutoCAD it's .dwg All right. So this is about a few introductory topics on the MicroStation software and this MicroStation software is completely Oracle and Java based. All right. Now let us see how to start the software. On the desktop we have the icon MicroStation V8 standing for MicroStation version 8. When you double click on this icon the MicroStation software loads up All right. this is the MicroStation software go with remind me later and next we get the MicroStation manager over here we need to first create a new file like I said in order to start MicroStation you will have to create a new file go with the file option over here select file select the new option in order to create a new file and this brings up this dialog box wherein on the right side we have the directory in which the new file is being created and on the left we will be entering the file name let us enter some file name say file abc now we have entered the file name 
the directory can be selected over here you can change the directory so here right now my documents is selected we can change this and over here at the bottom this is the seed file over here you need to make a selection of the seed file like in AutoCAD we used to have templates in order to run a particular file over here in MicroStation we refer to those templates as seed files these are files within which the data related to a particular type of activities is stored for example when I click on select we have a total of four seed files the first one is 2d English general seed file the second one is 2d metric general the third one is 3d English general and the fourth one is 3d metric general so whenever we are performing any 2d drawings we will be selecting these 2d English or 2d metric seed files if we want to perform any 3d operations we can go for 3d English or 3d metric seed files these four are nothing but seed files now this is the classification of 2d and 3d next we have English and metric that is if we want it in fits and inches you can go with the English option or if you want it in meters you will have to select the metric option and over here this is the directory within which the seed files are stored it's a long list of icons wherein over here the seed files are stored always whenever you want to access the seed files this is the directory which we need to enter you might want to note this down because if at all this directory has been changed then you won't be getting this list of four seed files over here you will have to go with this particular directory itself now suppose if I go over here now right now I'm in the C directory now I won't be able to select the correct seed file I do not have a list of seed files over here that is the reason whenever you are going with the selection of seed files you will have to check whether you are in the correct directory and then select the correct seed file suppose I'm over here in workspaces and if this is how the default window opens then you will have to give the correct path of the seed files which is C drive then program files then Bentley in which we have workspace then you have projects double click on projects then double click on the examples icon after which we have the general icon double click on this and in general option sorry general folder we have the seed folder double click on this when you double click on the seed folder you have the list of seed files listed down over here on the left now we will be going for 2d metric general this seed file throughout since we will be drawing it in my meters as well as we will be dealing with 2d drawings so I am selecting 2d metric general go with ok this step is very crucial where because over here whatever values you will be entering will come in meters only if you select 2d metric if you go with 2d English the values will be in fits and inches so always select this 2d metric go with ok and select we have already entered the file name file abc go with ok now this is the file which is displayed I'm selecting ok and this opens up a new file file abc you can see over here this is the file abc.dgn which is the extension right. and this is the microstation version 8 graphical user interface this black screen is the drafting screen or the drawing screen wherein you will be creating the drawings and over here on to the left is the main toolbar this main toolbar has all the options or all the tools stuffed together that is all the options such as creation of lines rectangles circles dimensioning it modifying it deleting objects changing their attributes creating hatches patterns blocks 
everything has been included in a single toolbar you do not have to search for other toolbars over here within the single toolbar called the main toolbar you have all the options listed now okay so we'll stop this session over here we'll continue in the next session and we'll see what each icon over here implies